Hi, I'm Daniel Casey. Thanks so much for watching our Casey Arms YouTube channel. This morning we're going to be teaching you how to forge cable Damascus by my method. This is one inch cable Damascus with five sixteenths inch strands. The center strand is high carbon and the outer strands are low carbon. We'll be forge welding this into a solid billet then adding spring steel for layering and stretching it back out to make some knives. I hope you enjoy. So for my first heat on a Damascus cable billet, I like to soak the cable in kerosene and that lets the kerosene soak in and any grease or oil that's built up in the cable will be coated with that kerosene and the kerosene acts as a flux when we go into our fire and keep the steel from oxidizing. So as we build up a bed of coals in the fire, I'm going to just soak this in kerosene. We have our first heat ready. I have a couple of Damascus necessities here. Got some gloves because we were wrapped with wire on our billet and you don't want to be stabbing yourself in the hand the whole time. We have a billet on both ends of the rod. And sunglasses, UV protection really help because I'm staring into a white hot fire and that helps it not blind me so I can see my actual forge welding colors. So on our first heat, we're gonna be going to our swage block, which is right over here, to get the shape or our cable in to roll it and tighten it as we forge weld. We've got our cable forge welded together. We've got it in the vise. We're gonna mark it out to clean the end off. So in other words, cut it off square on the end. So first I mark that. And then we're just gonna cut it in half lengthwise. And I'm actually gonna make a cut, not quite all the way through, but most of the way through the material right on either side of that center mark and that way when we get it hot it can bend around with this piece of steel our 1075 that we're adding in to layer 
between these two layers. So we'll have 1075 cable sandwich basically and we're going to forge weld that together. So we have our billet of cable with the end cut off clean and we've made two cuts in the center almost all the way through the material but not quite and that way we can add in our 1075 spring steel right here and just fold this over and wire it at the back to hold it all together. I have to polish this face where it will be folded over so we have clean metal to join together there. We have our cable billet all cleaned and polished on the face and we've got our cuts part way through so we're going to start bending this around just like that lay our spring steel in the center and just go ahead and bring it on down like so then we've got a piece of wire here that we can just go ahead and add at the back as a little bit of insurance and give it a good twist to hold it tight And there we have our first layer of spring steel added to our cable Damascus billet. So this will just go away in the welding process and we want our first weld to close this end up and then we'll forge weld the whole thing closed. So I'm going into the kerosene and then into the fire. Right now we have our layered cable and 1075 spring steel billet in the fire and we're approaching a bright yellow. So on the camera it looks like we're already at a forge welding heat but actually to my eye right now we're at a bright orange. And what we're looking for is a bright yellow surface with a liquid or a shiny look on the surface and that lets you know that the steel is actually wet enough or molten enough to join together and stick together. So we've got a little more heat we got to get on this one, but I'm going to give you a shot of what the correct color is when it comes out. So our steel is to forge welding heat right now. We have a liquid surface in the fire. We're getting lots of forge welding sparks, so we're going straight to the anvil. So mainly we're concerned with these sides where the steel is joining together for our flux, the sides, the back, and the tip. Alright, so we got our other Damascus forged and stacked with 1075 spring steel. And here are the two billets that we made today. And uh, right now we're at about a quarter of an inch thick, maybe a little over on this wider one. This one's probably one and one eighth, and this is about one inch wide. And we will be later making a video forging a dagger and a bowie knife out of these two Damascus billets that we built today. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Thanks for watching, guys. So when you're forge welding Damascus, all of your flux runs to the bottom of your fire and makes what's called a clinker that blocks your air holes. And here is a trophy winning clinker. You can see the size of it, see it glowing. It's just all the nasty sand and dirt and bad things in your steel and flux melt and go downwards. And this is what we do with them. Go ahead.